Uh, I feel like when they announced this card was coming to Sydney, you, you seem to be the name that everyone assumed would be near the top of this card. So I guess what does it feel like now that you're only a few days away from fighting and you're, you might have the biggest pop of the entire night? The biggest what? The biggest ovation. That'd be cool. Uh, no, I'm pumped. It's been uh, six years since since I fought in Sydney, my debut. Uh, the camp's been awesome. I've, I've trained in Sydney, trained at home, Zoo Fitness. Uh, it's been awesome. I'm pumped. It's ready to uh, get out there, put a show on for, for the Aussies and, and get this party going. Have you had to do any like more media considering like a lot, like I said, a lot of people just assume you're the face of this Sydney MMA area. Uh, and like when we did the, the ceremony yesterday, you had your own scrum because they called you over to do that. Did you have any more obligations as compared to previous fights? I don't know. All the cameras want to see my ugly head. Not just here in Australia, everywhere. How has camp been for this one against Titus of us? Um, camp was really great. So I, my, my camp was about uh, five months at all. So I, I didn't stop. Uh, I didn't stop training after my, my last fight. So I just, I just, uh, I keep going to to, to do uh, what, I, what I did before. So I changed, I changed the place I'm living. Now I, I, I was training in Las Vegas. Uh, I have a really good team. There's a lot of guys like pretty similar, like my opponent. Uh, so it was great. What do you make of Ty as an opponent? You know, everyone knows he's got a lot of power and he can knock out anyone in the division. But what do you think of his all-around game and where will he pose the biggest threat to you on fight night? Um, Do you want something similar to you? He's pretty dangerous with his punch, for sure. Like... Uh, you, you, you can't like uh, ignore this uh, anyway because like uh, having a, a good punch and, and, and like uh, be exposing uh, opponent is really hard anyway uh, for everybody. So um, he will be dangerous for me from se first second to the to the end of the fight for sure. But uh, I have a lot of more, I think, uh, techniques in, in my arsenal against him. So I will try to use it. Historically in the past, like when you fought Stefan Struve, you've done very well against tall, lanky opponents. So what do you make of Alexander Volkov as an opponent? I think it's going to be, a, uh, I think he's a great opponent. I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, obviously, everyone knows how big he is. And uh, I don't think uh, he's going to do too well with me on his chest and coming forward. So there ain't really much game plan. Get in there and swack on and then we're after party. Will your family be in attendance? My family will be there. Ty, you uh, grew the hair out for this one, unless you've cut it and you're hiding it from us. But uh, <laughs> do you feel like that's going to give you some extra powers in the cage on Sunday? No, I haven't fought for a long time, so I'm broke. I just need some money to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> sure someone who sees this can help you out. Well, hopefully Sunday and then Monday I might get a haircut. So in that sort of sense, do you believe that as long as you don't make a mistake, you should be able to keep him at distance and, and win the fight. And it's up to you to make the mistake that would let him win. Как ты думаешь, самое главное ты можешь выиграть, если ты никакие ошибки не сделаешь? No, like it's uh, it's really hard to, 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 to do like to not doing a mistake in a fight because like any any fight have uh, for sure some mistakes. Like uh, it's really. Hard to, to think about fight this way, like it's like really like uh, uh, like uh, a no mistake fight or something. So it will be some mistakes for sure, but it's more important how will be, how will we fight with these mistakes and uh, like do you recall the fight? How it will go? So uh, probably uh, if we sp like speak about like uh, being uh, on a distance on him or, or going close, uh, we'll see because uh, no. Uh, all f all fights is more about styles, uh, and we have like a, a much uh, different styles with him, uh, and for sure he will be feeling uh, much conf uh, confident in the close uh, close distance, but in close distance I will also have like uh, more uh, wrestling skills and and, and maybe uh, like if he if he be, will be too close to to me I, I, I can throw him down so. We will see, like all this, we'll like we'll figure it out, figure it out this all in the fight. Uh, but I'm pretty confident myself, like in any situation of fight.
Cool. Last one from me. Have you ever poured beer into a shoe and drank it? Uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, you usually fight um, two or three times a year. You're a very active fighter. Um, this is the first time that we'll be seeing you for 2023. Was there any particular reason um, why you hadn't taken it or hadn't fought any earlier? I needed a break. <laughs> the last Russian crushed my face in. <laughs> so I uh, had to have a bit of time off. Uh, I, I miss my family. I miss home. I'm a, I'm from. I'm not from much, you know. So family in, in the area means a lot to me. So I needed home. I needed to go home. So I went home. I feel good now, and I'm fucking ready to roll. Last one for me. Um, after the fight with Pavlovich, is it sort of weighing on you or, or an an, uh, an air of importance um, to put a dominant performance um, over Alexander Volkov this weekend to sort of... Oh, definitely. I've My last two fights, I've, I've gotten a hiding. So I'm coming out with... Uh, I'm coming out for heads. <laughs> I'm curious, uh, what, what are you expecting from fan reception considering Ty is actually from Sydney, this area? Uh, right now, I'm feeling uh, people here is very welcome for me. So every, everybody I'm meeting uh, on the streets, like on the gym, like everywhere is really welcome for me. So thank you for them. So I expect it will, it will, will like it will, will, it will, will keep going uh, during the fight, during like the stadium, because like uh, with a good fights, like uh, everybody win and fans also. It doesn't matter uh, who will fight uh, against uh, Australian guy. So. Anyway, if I will be like feeling uh, confident myself, if I will show a better fight, it will be good for fans also. So I'm, I'm, I hope they, they will support me also. But for sure, I, uh, they will support uh, uh, Taito Lasa more. It's, it's okay, I understand this. But uh, probably I'm waiting, the, the fans will be cheering for a good fight and not just for, for a fighter. Just down the front here, Ty. Um, you said before that you, your, your game plan is just go in and, and, and box on there. Um, what sort of, what do you see in terms of the future after this fight? Where do you think you're planning on going? Well, first I'll be going to the World of Entertainment, Penrith Panthers, for the after party. And then, look, the UFC rings me. They say, do you want to fight this guy? I say, yes, that's how it works. So the after party will be quite a big lot of shoeys? West of Sydney, get ready. And just one more for me. Um, with the main event, what, what are you predicting uh, how that's going to turn out? Uh, death by Israel. <laughs> Amazing. Ty, just over here. Just over here on your, uh, on your left. Oh, yeah. So obviously, you know, <laughs> obviously Alex Volkov, you know, he presents a lot of problems both in his physicality, you know, his height, his reach, but as well as his skill set. But does that excite you as an opponent, you know, to be able to see how far you've come in your career that now, you know, you're fighting these top tier heavyweights? Yeah, that's, uh, that's my aim. Uh, if I want to fight, I want to fight the best. Uh, and uh, I fought the best, got a hide in the last two. But um, I'm in uh, I'm number five or whatever it is now, so there, there ain't no easy fights up here, and I ain't looking for any easy fights. Uh, they offered me Volkov, and I said yes, and uh, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, if it's not going to be boring, I'm not going to fucking be cuddling each other the whole 25 minutes or whatever it is. Oh, how many? I was about to say that's fuck, that's ages. Well, for five minutes, the whole five minutes, you know. So. And there's a lot of movement uh, at the top of the heavyweight division with Cyril Gaon, Tom Aspinall, Sergey Pavlovich. They're all in jail to Almeida. They're all close to that title shot. So what do you make of the top of the division right now, and especially with John Jones and Stipe, that fight coming up? Uh, yes, it is. Mm, I don't know. Like, I don't think about it right now. I, I'm like It will be like a boring answer, but uh, I think about my opponent. Uh, for sure, because it's like a really big cha challenge. Like uh, anyway, how I say, I, I can't ignore his his good punch. So and uh, I probably I, I I could talk about uh, this after fight. <laughs> Alex, just one right here. Um, you're of course a former Bellator heavyweight champion, and there's a lot of talk right now that Bellator might be purchased and go away. Do you think that would be bad for the sport if you know uh, those two companies, PFL and Bellator, merge and Bellator goes away? Mm, maybe, maybe it is. 
uh, like because you no know, Beotor gave me a really good jump uh, in my career, in especially in uh, in the US and over the world. So because before I, I'm more fighting just in Russia, and Beotor gave me like opportunity for people from another part of the world uh, recognizing me. Um, so yeah, like uh, for sure, like uh, if it, if it will be more promotion in the world, it will be much better for fans for everybody. But fans also want to know who is the best who, who is the best fighter all over the world. Like who is the, like a uh, best champion in Bellator and best champion in PFL. You see who is the, the most uh, like a stronger fighter. It's uh, uh, interesting for all and for fighters like uh, also. Uh, in this case, uh, for me, like uh, it, I see, it will be good if uh, promotion will stay like this, like uh, it, 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 uh, like, like uh, how it's uh, going like right now. But uh, with like opportunity, uh, champions or some fighters fighting each other in different uh, different promotion, you know uh, how it goes in boxing, like something like that. Um, but you know, is it possible right now to do it in MMA because it's a little bit a really different uh, business system for, for all promotion? But I know uh, I will be sad if if Bellator stop uh, uh, like doing uh, his job. So um, it'll be good, like if it, if it will be like a more big uh, promotions in the world. For sure. And look, last one from me. You know, your career got off to a really, you know, explosive and quick start, you know, some dominant finishes and a lot of fights back to back. Do you think that period where you sort of step back and slowed down a bit, you know, when you got that work in with DC over at AKA, do you think that that was sort of crucial for the development of your career to just be able to step back, slow down and focus on developing a little bit? Well, I think the fighter I am today is <laughs> very different to the fighter I was on, on that losing streak to this losing streak. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck. Let's go. 